Good day everyone! We are Team Concoctors! So today we are going to make three concoctions. So first, fermented fruit juice, oriental herb nutrient, and calcium phosphate. So without further ado, let's get started. Ang una po natin gagawin ay fermented fruit juice or FFJ. Paggawa ng FFJ, gagamit tayo ng iba't ibang uri ng putas. Ang gagamitin po natin ay saging, papaya at pipino dahil itong tatlo kapag pinaghalo-halo ay may pinakamataas na potassium content sa lahat ng mga prutas. Handa ang mga sangkap at iba pang gagamitin sa paggawa ng FFJ. Tadta rin ang mga sangkap at timbangin ito. Siguraduhin pare-pareho ang sukat na timbang ng bawat sangkap na prutas. Matapos tadta rin, ilagay ito sa malinis na lalagyan kung saan dito paghahaluin ang lahat kasabay ang molasses. Umamit kami rito ng 600 ml ng molasses katumbas ng 600 grams ng mga sangkap na prutas. Umamit kami ng alternative measuring cup upang magtugma sa timbang ng mga nahiwang prutas ang sukat ng molasses. Isalin ang limang cups ng molasses na may sukat na 120 ml sa bawat cup. Haluin ng mabuti. Siguraduhin na ang lahat ng sangkap ay naihalo ng maayo sa mulases at kailangan na lumubok ang lahat ng nahiwang putas sa mulases para mabilis ang fermentation process. Takipan ng maayos para maiwasan na makontaminate ang ginawang FFJ. I-ferment ito ng halos isang linggo para mas maganda ang quality ng inyong concoction. Today, we are going to demonstrate how to make organic herbal nutrient or OHN. Before we start, we need to prepare the materials and ingredients needed. So, the materials needed are measuring cup, container, knife, and spoon. And the ingredients that will be used are 600 ml vinegar, 150 ml of molasses, 250 grams of garlic, as well as the ginger. So, we will add the chili for OHN2. So, first thing to do is to slice the ginger and garlic into smaller pieces. Then transfer the sliced ingredients into the container. Add 150 ml of molasses and mix the ingredients. Add the label and set aside for 5 days. So, assuming that 5 days have passed, then we can add 600 ml of vinegar.
after adding the vinegar, mix the ingredients. So make sure to seal the container properly to maintain the high potency of the concoction. Don't forget to label the container and wait for 10 days before the harvest. Let's proceed to calcium phosphate. In making calcium phosphate, all you need is a set of eggshells and vinegar. So without further ado, let's start in the procedures. So first, wash the eggshells with cool water. Remove the sticky membrane and dirt left in the shells. Next, crush and grind the eggshells. You may crush the eggshells either manually or mechanically. You can chop the eggshells or use shredder to shred them into pieces. In our case, we use a pair of pools to crush them into particles. After that, put the crushed eggshells in the pan and cook it. Cooking allows the turnout of calcium and activation of phosphorus content by means of heating. Stir it regularly and wait for about 30 to 40 minutes until it turns golden brown in color. Once we reach the target color of the shell, cool it down for a while and weigh it. Put it in a jar or container and fill up to 100 grams. The ratio of this concoction is 1 is to 9, meaning for every 100 grams of eggshells, you will need 900 ml of vinegar. Unfortunately, we don't have a beaker, so we use measuring cup as an alternative to get the required amount. We make it by pouring 10 times of 90 ml to get the same equivalent of 900 ml. As you can see, there is a bubble effect and it is called effervescence. It is the evaporation of carbon from the vinegar and extraction of calcium and phosphorus in the eggshells.
lastly, cover the container and let it ferment for 30 days. Alright, we're done. So these are the three concoctions that we made. So here is fermented fruit juice, FFJ, Oriental Herb Nutrient, OHN, and Calcium Phosphate. So we recommend this concoction especially to the backyard farmers who want to try organic farming for a variety of reasons. So first, low cost of raw materials, avoid accessibility of ingredients, and it can be used, it can be also used as organic fertilizer, pesticide, insect repellent, and it can be used for livestock. So again, we are the team Holland Doctors! Happy farming!